I'm gonna try very hard to work on my posture today. But also, oh yeah, hi! Hello. Uh. Some reason, my computer's hot again. This sh oh yeah. The game the category isn't Scott Pilgrim, is it? I said on the server already, I changed the game. You know what, I I'm gonna go to just chatting now. Is my hair correct? Yes, it is. Uh, yeah, so... Um... I actually did play a bit of Scott Pilgrim earlier today's practice, and I'm actually- I'm better at it, or at least I feel like I am. However, I didn't think- I wasn't sure if I would have fun streaming it today, because I think... I, I like to make progress in the games when I stream, and I didn't feel like I was going to be able to quite get past that area that I was not doing well with. Oh, thank you for the 11 months, JS. Uh, hello, Coco, me help you. Been having a good day. It's been a, it's been a, a weird. It's, it, <laughs> it's, it's okay. Um, what did I do? I drew, and I drew, and I video edited, and I've been thinking about what I'm gonna do in the next couple of weeks because I am a little. I I know I literally I I'll say something that I'm worried about with my computer every stream because I'm a nervous. Nancy or whatever um but I do think that it's it's been a little I mean the performance has been fine but like specifically with streaming for some reason there's like more issues with Firefox it's like nothing serious but I'm you know I'm anxious about it so and now the frames are dropping that's not my computer though I think that's the internet and I don't know why that's happening either, but I couldn't be bothered to reset the router today. But it'll it'll be fine as long as it doesn't actually disconnect. But yeah, um, computer is computer. It's probably okay, but I will get it cleaned when I can. I actually, I obviously, I wanted to do that this month, but it didn't end up happening. <sighs> but it will, it will, it will occur. I just. It would be nice to have a PC, wouldn't it? Although, actually, that comes with its own set of problems. That comes with, like, a whole other... Because I have a friend who's been struggling with his PC for the past year, maybe more. Because uh, the parts are expensive. He has this issue where it just it will just, like, crash after he uses it for a long time. So I guess there's no way out of the struggle, is there? <laughs> no matter what kind of thing you have. I think that buying a new laptop is less expensive than repairing like a whole pc especially because with pc it's trial and error you know hi but yeah so i need to do to kind of oh yeah i saw what happened with your computer uh and my my computer like aside from like some very small things it has been normal but i want to you know make sure i don't push it too hard but uh today is going to be game i want to stream more of these specific kinds of games i'll, I'll go over to it even Ooh, there it is oh yeah the layout layout is a bit different actually not sure if this if the screen is right hold on uh, let me manage some stuff. Because uh, the, the sound isn't on. I'm pretty sure I, 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 I noted everywhere, right, where uh, that I'm stream. Um, I think that this is the right resolution. I hope it is. No, it wasn't. It wasn't the right resolution. Okay. I don't know what the right resolution is. That I'm going to probably have to change it as we get in. Um, yeah, I'll just do that, honestly. Yeah, I know. It's not Scott Pilgrim today. I changed it. I changed it. Okay, I can go right into options here. Um. Oh, that's why I... Should I, should I like crop out this part of the overlay? 
and 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 move it where should i put the game is this okay Do I want to have the overlay today? I feel like this is weird. I don't think that we're going to be seeing anything outside of these sides of the screen, though. So honestly, it's probably fine. I'm sorry, I'm trying to... I want it to be a little bit perfect. Just a little bit. Nero Tama, the UI color. Yeah, a bit. Uh, and I, I guess I'll move myself over here and put the overlay here and the chat is here okay and there's one more thing I'm going to do actually one more thing this is special and I hope it doesn't make my computer explode which it really shouldn't but I was worried because I've never like done a whole stream this before but but I'm gonna put myself on, on on 30 fps does that look weird does that look weird to you i feel like it should look normal actually it doesn't look crunchy if you're used to having it on higher fps than that um v-sync oh that looks crunchy v-sync uh this is fine right probably i hope so and oh yeah visual effects okay hold on it's not done and here i accidentally opened firefox so i have to wait for that to come up and close it again okay so this is the themed <laughs> themed aesthetic for the day is is me looking like this i hope that nothing gets weird and crashes if, if anything weird happens please let me know I feel like it's, it's, it's not laggy no 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 I, at least i don't think so yeah it's it's appropriate for the game i don't even know how should i even describe this so i first saw this game a while ago i watched markiplier play the demo Oh, have you seen it before, Misa? Hi! Yeah, uh, I watched the demo, and I was, I was, at first, you know, you guys know how I feel about analog horror as a trend right now. I think that it has tons of potential, but it's been so overdone at this point that it's very rare that I'll find anything that really, uh, that I care about. I think that this has, um, I think it's not too crazy. I think it's like... What intrigued me the most about it, I don't want to spoil it really, but I think the stuff that they do in it is unique and it's not like the setting is kind of, can you call this analog? This is like Windows XP. <laughs> it's Windows XP analog. But you know, it's kind of like uh, old stuff horror. <laughs> uh, I, I thought about turning on this, but can you see my cursor by the way? I hope you can. Um, but for the sake of the horror, I'll leave it. It's not House Flipper. Oh, we have Discord on Windows? Windows 98? Reset Weekly Progress. Mailbox. Television Commercial. Every year, thousands of families suffer injuries or even death from common household hazards. Hazards such as house fires. Flooding. Black mold. I have black mold. Metamorphosis. Don't become a. D -d 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 Call the home safety hotline and keep your family safe. Hmm. 9096, it says down there. Uh, okay. Uh, corporate welcome. Welcome to the home safety hotline family. 
We are pleased to have you aboard as our brand new home safely home home safely home safely hotline responder uh, slash role. Your supervisor's name is Carol Regina. She will be calling you today to brief you on your duties and will be reviewing your work daily to ensure maximum accuracy. As a reminder. Responders with a 90% accuracy rate or more will qualify to receive our daily employee coupons. Work hard and be rewarded with incredible savings. <laughs> hmm. Wait, coupons on what? On, on... Do they have a gift store? Attention call team. Due to an error with our archival network, some of you may notice video files from our video archive appearing on your desktop. Please disregard these. They'll be cleared up in due time. Okay. I didn't watch anything. Um, I think that this leads to an actual Discord, so I'm not going to click that. But uh, I also I always double click everything. Uh, I hope that doesn't. Am I supposed to do that? It is how I'm used to using a regular computer. Loud. Mm -mm. Uh, to begin shift, please clock in below. They got pixel art at this job. Oh. Okay, so this is a list of um bed bugs. Ew. Bed bugs are small insects known for feeding on the blood of humans and other mammals. And I say to inhabit sleeping areas of the home. Have any of you ever had bed bugs? Because I don't think I have. Which, thank God, I didn't think that they were real until a certain point in my life. <gasps> Welcome to Home Safety Hotline, new employee. My name is Carol, and I'll be acting as your supervisor during your time here at HSH. Before you begin your first day here, let me tell you a bit about how things work here. You are an HSH responder. As such, it is your job to learn about various household hazards so you can answer the questions of our callers intelligently. When a client calls, answer the call and listen carefully to their concerns. When you've diagnosed their issue, submit the corresponding household hazard and we'll forward them safety instructions to address their problem. Welcome to the HSH family. I'm sure we'll talk again soon. Okay. Okay, close. All right, so I understand basically how this works, but, uh, I don't know. What was I saying? Something about bed bugs? Oh yeah, I didn't think that they were real. I have had black mold and I probably talked about it before. Bees? Yeah, bee bees are okay. I don't want to be around them though. Oh my God, it's scary. I don't want to get a phone call. Oh. John here. My wife I call this number. It sounds like she thinks we might have some kind of infestation. My wife keeps telling me about specks of dirt or something in the kitchen. Just looks like coughing to me. I don't know. You tell me, I guess. <laughs> uh, okay. Specks of dirt. Looks like coffee infestation. Please hold. Specks of dirt. Thank you for the 12 months, Kinseki. Oh my gosh, it's your one year. Congratulations to everybody involved. <laughs> so him saying, like, it looks like coffee in the kitchen, specks of dirt, immediately makes me think about black mold. Small black dots. But he's not saying anything about... Like allergic because re like the biggest tell of black mold is the you know the reaction that you have to it. Not immediately dangerous, but it can cause damage to household integrity. I'm I'm not on a timer, am I? Carpenter ants. Uh, nesting side of wood. Rustling sound. Cockroaches. Uh, ooh. Homeowners with a cockroach infestation commonly report seeing droppings that appear similar to coffee grounds. I think this is it. 
Where are the cockroaches? I hope I'm not wrong. I didn't actually look at everything on the list. House fly. Do they have drain flies on here? Oh, uh, but yeah, actually today I was feeling a little concerned about my own home safety because... Uh, what is that eating another fly? But anyway. Oh, jeez. I can't even finish my sentence. Hi, I'm so sorry. My name is Grace and it's probably nothing, but I thought I'd call just in case. Lately, I can't sleep at night because of this annoying little sound coming from my attic. Uh, it sounds kind of like... You know, it's, it's probably nothing. I'm sure it could just be regular old house noises, but I just thought I'd call to ask and make sure. It's going to E. It's Markiplier. Oh, okay. Well, the mice is right here. I might check some other things, but... That seems... Because I had mice before in my old house. They kept getting into the attic. And you can constantly hear them like scuttling around and you know going e e e e <laughs> as they do they just say e <laughs> sounds like a nose yeah I right, this was some noisy mice it also says normal no marks small round droppings it sounds a squeaking uh do, 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 do. Mole. Well, it's not gonna be moles. I hate moles. Raccoon. They don't have a noise. Hmm. Well, those don't make noise either. I think it, it has to be mine. I think that the first few are gonna be easy. So, yeah. Mice? Mice. Anyway, what the heck was I talking about? Oh, yeah. I thought that t today I keep smelling the, like, this smell that was, like, like, perfume or nail varnish remover. And I got really worried, but uh, honestly, I still don't know what the source of it is exactly. It could be multiple things, but um, I I've been told it's nothing to worry about, so... Hopefully I, I won't die in my sleep. Ah. Hank here. Look at this Last week symmetrical. I told guys about some crap in my yard. I was told wasn't anything to worry about. Well, guess what? There's more piles of crap in my yard. I'm talking huge <laughs> piles of brown out there. <laughs> You better not tell me it's nothing again, because I know <laughs> I've seen something moving out there. Is it moles? Tell me what it is, so I can take care of it once and for all. Because if you never had moles, they will make molehills all over your garden or yard. It's gotta be, right? Yeah, well... Volcano shaped mounds. I could check if there's anything else. I didn't know that they were capable of biting humans. They also have close relations to the ones beneath the soil, which can cause further danger if provoked, of course. Never kill a mole. Never kill a mole. Never kill a mole. Never kill a mole. Gopher. Is it not just a mole? Enlarged front teeth, living in burrows, can pass to each other on their own property in Turkish gardens. Uh, it has to be mole. It has to be mole. If it's not mole, then I'm firing myself. I'm quitting my job if it's not mole. Why don't you kill a mole? If you kill a mole, um, it will cause danger because of the ones beneath the soil, obviously. Isn't it interesting how there's so many different types of bugs and pests to worry about? Better head on over and 
catches, big fella. Big fella. <laughs> oh, I I can't I can't help him out. <laughs> Twig Sigmund. <laughs> uh, if you kill a mole, you're a bad person for killing a cute animal. I mean that too. I don't think they're very cute, but don't kill animals <laughs> unless you're a farmer or a uh, hunter. I get well, yeah, hunter, hunter, not a poacher. Don't be a poacher. Follow the rules. Oh. Hmm. Service or something. My good for nothing kid refuses to mow and it's getting real crazy out there. Looking like a rainforest over here. My kid is complaining about being too sick to do anything about it. Meh, 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 meh. The stress of this stupid lawn's giving me a headache just thinking about it. Can you guys can you send some guys up to get this done? Uh. Please hold. So, wh wait, what's the problem? His his grass is really long and his kid is sick. Uh Hmm. American dance in their lawns. Tick? Ew. It's very small arachnids knows who feed on human or animal blood. Tall grass. Uh let's try another host. Often unseen and burrow their head into the flesh of their victim. Yeah, I hate ticks so much. It's so annoying. I've never had one on myself before. But I've had to get them taken on my dogs before. Sounds like his kid was the problem. <laughs> uh, yeah, hosts will often report symptoms of illness. Incredibly dangerous to humans thanks to their ability to spread diseases to their hosts such as Lyme disease. This is a very educational game actually. They should uh, make people play this in schools. Potential to provoke other more dangerous household pests. Wait, what? Is that true or is that the horrors? Alright. Wait, what? Oh, oh dear. Although you can remove ticks once they have invaded your home with common pesticides, it is too late to prevent any diseases they have transmitted. Instead, prevent ticks from entering your household in the first place by treating the surrounding area with pesticides, keeping it tidy. Okay. Tick. 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 Mm -mm. Yahoo! Oh, my shift is over. All right. The cock out. Accuracy 100%. I'm so smart. I'm so good. Mm -mm. I got a mug of very the resolution. The resolution just shrank. Excuse me. Why do you do that? Come on. Am I going to have to do this every single time? I might like, poo poo. Let's hope I don't accidentally turn the stream off. Um, yeah, it doesn't look right now. Okay. <laughs> that should be fine, right? Uh, mailbox? No, I do have to double click. Oh, what is this? C c c c c wit it's too lasate. You don't know me, but I to have yo yo a job. We we are in danger. Wait today before oh, it's too late. You don't know enough. It's not too late. Uh, uh, oh, job perks. That's my coupon. Bug spray. Huh, so you keep those bugs where they belong. Outside, just one spray keeps insects at bay. Using a state-of-the-art chemical makeup, insects are repelled by the pet-safe scent. And will immediately seek the fresh air of the outdoors faster than you can shake a fly swatter at... To receive your discount, simply type the following code on your online checkout. But do we really- in, in this time, 96, I guess the online checkout did exist then. 
but d did did these kinds of like codes exist i don't know i, w I wasn't alive well that's nice i i realize i'm not gonna i'm not even gonna use these coupons so does it matter i mean getting things correct probably matters for the ending so i will do my best what the heck is that at the top of this can't you see something weird yeah hold on i gotta get rid of this okay um well, it's work time <clears throat> And hey, do do I get any new? No, it looks the same. But I'm probably gonna get called by my superior, so I'm gonna try and not be surprised. How's your guys' week been? I feel like it went by kind of quickly somehow. It's already Thursday. Oh, I think that I would like to stream tomorrow. Uh, depends how well I sleep though. But might do Scott Pilgrim then. Household hazard information. Yay! Please be aware that this information is confidential and of course. not to anyone outside of HSH. Mm -hmm. If you diagnose one of these hazards, we will be providing only information to the clients that is pertinent to addressing their concerns. Nothing more. Okay. No, no, no big. Permission's been updated. Uh, new, 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 new. Bed teeth. Excuse me. Rare household fungus known for growing in small cone-like shapes on the underside of bed sheets, blankets, or comforters. Homeowners invested with bed teeth often report mild discomforts. Not directly harmful. Gradually grow sharper. You got bed teeth? Black mold. Black mold. Know about anything Black mold. Do. <laughs> don't even, don't even worry uh, your pretty little head. From coming in the house. We got black mold. I think there's something seriously wrong with my ventilation or something because I cannot stop sneezing. Uh, in the past, I haven't had problems so long as I've stayed inside. But you know who hasn't been sneezing again. lately? Me. Please, how I, I've been pretty okay. Where is black mold? I mean, I should probably check to make sure that it's not something else, but I think it has to be black mold. It has to be. Well, how about carbon monoxide? I've never had that before. Is that what it looks like? It has a sound? Invisible and odorless poisonous gas is produced whenever a fossil fuel is burned. Look at poorly installed, maintained stove and water heater appliances. Poor ventilation. For headaches, dizziness, and lethargy. I hope I never die from carbon monoxide. I already have enough anxiety. Cellar growths? Uh, it was like a Goosebumps episode. In dark, damp environments such as cellars, homeowners infested with cellar growths commonly report a slimy residue, sound of dripping or stretching or strange glows coming from their cellar. Just get a carbon monoxide detector? Okay. Oh, we got Hobbs now. I mean, this guy probably doesn't have a... <laughs> I don't think people are putting these in their houses on purpose. Fractured hot. You know what? Let's just do one thing at a time. I think this guy has black mold. So... I'm gonna tell him. Hmm. Nice. Okay, let's read about the other things. Uh... Hob and hob. Most common species of hob found in the household. They are small humanoid creatures with gray burlap like skin. Uh, they have no false face. 
tendency to consume dust, dirt, and common sticky substances found on floor and dishes. Uh, come on, night. Did not. Oh. Do you know if there's such a thing as house clean? Like, maybe to disguise the robbery? Oh. At night, I keep hearing all this noise coming from my living room, but. Is it a hall? When I go look at it, I find the place spotless. But haven't yet found anything missing. I've talked with the cops, but they keep telling me to call this number. She sounds pretty calm about it. Here I am. I would be, I would be like shaking. I would be very disturbed. Please hold. Uh, so it's a hall, right? But wait, what did she say specifically? Just house in general. Hearing all this noise coming from my living room. Um. What's this? Oh, oh. Subspecies of hob. Uh. What is a false face? I think it's just a common hob. Um. That's kind of a terrifying noise, though. <laughs> Not dangerous to humans on their own. If provoked, however, they are capable of mischievous acts and metamorphosis. They cannot be compelled to leave on their own once nested in a home. Instead, one should take measures to prevent provoking metamorphosis by leaving out a bowl of cream or milk and... <laughs> Is it a cat? I mean... Common hob? Common hob, anyone? This is a brand of, of biscuit that I really like. Haven't had it in a while, but it's called Hobnobs. They're like oat biscuit, sort of. They're very nice, very delicious. Oh. Ah! Yo, Buzz Goober here. I've been having a heck of a time over here. I got these snappers itching and open, crying all over the place. Excuse me? Just all over the place I got these whippersnappers yelping and whining and I can't get a wink of sleep. Oh. He's trying to lay down over here. I know how it is. What's going to do about all this? I've called about 5,500 times and y'all haven't done a thing about it. Uh, oh, I can't even, I can't even put him on. Well, he hung up, okay? He should have stayed on the line and I could have helped him. <laughs> The hops are pretty cute. Uh, house fire. Oh, what's oh, the person? I, I don't know what's He's going stuck on in the my vortex. House. I hear something crawling in the walls. I think I found teeth marks on my bedposts. I can't sleep at night knowing there's something in my house. Help me, please. <sighs> Um, crawling in the walls, teeth marks on bedposts. Hmm, it's probably not a house fire. Crawling in the walls, teeth marks. Hmm, raccoon. But do raccoons go in walls? They go in attics. Uh, maybe not raccoon. Stair slug? Ew! Ugh! Dog-sized slugs that are commonly known to occupy stairwells and basements. Well, it's not that, but that's just... Ugh. Bats? Well, well, no, bats are just bats. Uh... Bats can be identified by usually large ears. I had a little baby bat in my house once. I didn't actually get to see it. I, I was a kid. Like, I heard everyone talking about it. And they had to put it back outside and, like, stop the dog from going to eat it. Anyway. Um. Scratching, flapping at night. Pellet dropping as well. It's probably not that. Bats are dangerous? Oh, I guess that they can bite you. But I always thought that they were kind of innocent. 
Is it bed teeth? But then why would there be crawling in the walls? I don't think it's bed teeth. What else can it be? Carpenter ants. Um. Mm -mm -mm. Small insects known for nesting inside wood. Homeowners infested with these pests sometimes report faint rustling sound coming from their walls as the ants build their nests. Carpenter ants aren't dangerous to humans, but they are known to bite me threatened. They are also known to spread disease that can cause damage to homes if uh, uh, they nest within. Uh... Ugh. Okay, I think it might be carpenter ants, but I want to triple check. Because she's talking about teeth marks on the bed foot posts. Uh... But what else could it be? What is false beat? Oh, it's a it's a vegetable. Creatures <laughs> with a beet like appearance. Trick gardeners in the harvest. Well, it's not a false beet. Fracture hob? No, fracture hob is not gonna bite bedposts. It's not gopher. Pipe growth? Uh, I think- wait, what about termites? But I think it's gotta be carpenter ants. Small insects known for consuming decaying plant material, particularly wood. Uh, I think it's- I think it's carpenter ant. Hope I'm not wrong. But I only have so many options to choose from. Oh, I don't like what's happening to the music there! I don't know if I was supposed to be on this that screen that long. No, I don't want to see the stairs like Can we look at something nice? Here's a m mouse. Mouse is cute, right? He's very cute. Love how it goes from bats and mice to stair slugs and false bees. <laughs> it is kind of funny. That's why I was interested in <clears throat> That's why I was interested in this game, because there's definitely something very tongue-in-cheek about it. Pretty, kind of silly. Red? Yeah, hey, I'm calling about a noise of in my house lately sounds like scratching or something oh this guy sounds insufferable quiet so definitely some kind of pest in my walls i've sent out all kinds of traps but uh i thought one worked for a while then i started hearing it again this week i thankfully haven't seen any visible damage or drop things or whatever oh that's the end okay what's he saying scratching in his house pest in his walls Ah. So it stomped at one point and then started again. S scratching in his walls. And also he's seen droppings. No, he hasn't seen droppings. <laughs> he thankfully haven't. Okay, so no poo. There's no poo and there's scratching in the walls. Uh, that's... <clears throat> in the walls? And he set out a trap. Uh, it's probably it's not gonna be carpenter ants again. Mm. No. F is it fracture hog? But he's does it sound like he's seeing any visible damage? Yeah. So it's not fracture hob. Mm. Pipe hob. Ew. Get out of there. I don't know. What is this false face business about? Much smaller than most tops, so commonly emerge from their home at night, consuming dirt, blah, 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 blah. Well, he's not getting cleaned. Is it a raccoon? Well, this doesn't say anything about walls. Termite? This is hard. Uh... It's not tick. I actually have no idea what this could be. Wait, what if the last one was 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 something else, and this one is carpenter ants? But I don't understand what's this about. He he laid a trap out for it. It's probably not. 
<laughs> Wait, what if- no, because there's no poo. There's no poo, so it can't be a bat. Mm. Cockroach? No. Now I'm frustrated. I don't know. Uh-oh. I'm worried I got the last one wrong. Yeah, I, I... How would he tramp an ant? This might... Hmm. Well, it's not flies. Uh... I have no idea. I have no idea what this guy's problem is. All kinds of tramps. Slot one worked for a while. It's not gonna be bed bugs. It's not gonna be bed. It's not gonna be bed anything. Not bees. What if he's just crazy and it's carbon monoxide? Nah, 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 nah. I think it might be carpenter ants. Well, it says rustling. Was there something that made a scratching noise? Was that not bats? Yeah, I might- I think I'm gonna have to say bat. He said that he didn't see any poop, but I can't think of anything. This might be wrong. I'm sorry, dude. We'll see my accuracy rating at the end. But, uh... Hope he's nerfed. Hmm. I, I need more options. But yeah, if you don't know, these things like hobs and stuff is real, like, folklore creatures that exist. Which is one of the things that interested me about this. I mean, I feel like folklore creatures, particularly Celtic ones, get used a lot in um, people's, you know, creative projects. And it's not always amazing, but I, I think it's kind of cool here, even though it's not like 100% accurate. It's like horror version. Well, it's a hob. Chill out, buddy. So... But where? Is it his desk? It just says his stuff. But bomb from accounting. His papers. It has to be a desk hob. Gotta be desk hob. Hmm... Known to inhabit desks, vanities, and other similar structures, they regularly like to tidy their homes and will frequently sort and order materials in the desk to their liking. Physically similar to other hobs, generally much smaller, have raspy, loose hair. I don't want to see their hair. And they do not bear a false face. So... They're not dangerous if unprovoked, but like any other hob, they are also capable of metamorphosing. Uh... They cannot be removed once they nest. To prevent further danger, measures to prevent metamorphosis should be taken, uh... Ill-advised... No, it is advised to leave breadcrumbs on the desk each night before going to bed. It's like a, a pet has been forced upon you. Hmm. Do they have OCD? <laughs> Maybe. That might just be what hobs are. Or maybe it really was bomb from accounting. Oh, no. Sh oh, yikes. That's bad. 60% accuracy? Oh, that's okay, Misa. I hope you have a good night. I'm worried about my frames, sir. They're poopy. Oh, I need to reset the resolution again. <laughs> Uh, yep. <laughs> I have to do this every time. It's because I, ha I can't have it in full screen because I need to see the chat and I only have one monitor. Uh, there, that's fine. <clears throat> I will do my best to get 90%. Wait, I'm gonna... Okay, yeah, that looks okay. 
Wait, what's this? Is it real estate? Oh, my can my character, like what? <laughs> Uh, house flipper. Yeah, I put a cool filter on today. Is there something wrong with the house? What's happening? What do you mean five bathrooms? That's insane. Civil authority has issued a missing persons alert for the following counties. Bush County, Maple County. This is a missing persons alert. Authorities are currently looking for missing child Robbie Parker. What was a missing children in these games? <laughs> Excuse me? Oh, the suspect, not the child. The child is not six feet tall. 25 a.m.? Okay. Right. That was when it happened. Uh huh. Okay, well, I enjoyed that. Hello, mail. I want to see my mail. It's too late for you now. Fake, fake you can access to more info different today. I warned you. If you will end up like me, join me in this hole. We haven't found Amy yet. It's for self. That's not a hole, that's a... That's an office. Yeah, the dark hours, the 25th, 25 a.m. Um... Uh, team is migrating to your backend services over a new hosting provider. May experience some occasional network errors over the next few days. Please be sure you are studying your information entries carefully while you still have access in case the network goes down. Oh, that's possible? Uh oh. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, I'm gonna be so bad. But, you know, I, another day, another work day. Uh, I, I gotta read on the downtime. Did I get new stuff? Mm-mm. <clears throat> But yeah, all the other stuff. I think I read like most of these other ones, right? Yeah, I, I think I'm mostly familiar with these. Although, what's in pipe growth? The pregnant pipe. Type of fungus making homes inside damp tube like structures. Slightly larger than the pipe they inhabit. Clog the pipe. Loud bubbling no noises. Hmm. Okay. I'm surprised they're doing that considering I got 60% accuracy. I'll try. I'll do my best. I'll do my best. Mm-hmm. Yep. Oh, I got a mirror nymph. Oh, uh, so she sniffed the snow for seeing like this of homeowners pass by these small, faceless, voiceless humanoids carrying a large mirror. Uh, only for not being able to recognize their own face. Memory wisp. Well, that seems kind of self explanatory. Hey, yeah, thanks a bunch for the terrible advice you sent me. <gasps> you just fell through the freaking wall from all the damage they dealt, and we found out on our own what was going on. Kelly! <laughs> What was it? Wait, what do you mean my kid just fell through the freaking wall from all the damage they dealt? What was the... 
what did what what did he have was his child inside of his walls i don't think there was an option for that what was in his who 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 was in the wall was it actually carpenter ants i think this guy might have been carpenter ants or termites anyway memory was audio sample fright is incorrect this issue correct by the end of month invisible odorless household wisps that are known for removing memories from the home its homeowners Often report missing pictures, photo albums, inability to remember the faces of loved ones. Okay. Um. Lamp sprite? Consult be sprite? There's something in the basement. I've seen it. It's huge. Almost as big as my dog. It doesn't hiss or growl or anything, but I haven't gotten close enough to it to is find out what it is. Is cellar gross? I, it could be. It could be a uh, the thingy. Cellar growth. What is false rose bush? Oh, but look at it. It looks like an earthbound enemy. <laughs> uh, small humanoid feet. Homeowners with false rose bushes sometimes report missing passive children. False artifacts. Oh. Seemingly human designs so objects that can manifest suddenly inside a home. They're known for making people ge making gentle buzzing noises. Like her only be heard by very young human children or small animals. He homeowners with false artifacts often report out of place objects or missing children pets. Uh, Bogart. Excuse me. Bogart is the term for metamorphosed hob. Oh. Large, hairy humanoids between six to seven feet tall bear fairly convincing false faces. They are known for causing household accidents such as flooding, fires, or electric outages. Is it, That's not it, is it? What did he say? Huge, almost as big as my dog. Well, this is much bigger than a dog. Does it hiss or growl or anything? Wait, is it... Is it... Is it a... Stair slug? It's a stair slug. It's a stair slug. What the? Hold on. It's a stair slug for sure. Dog sized. Well, they didn't say anything about residue, but lurking just out of sight from the top of the stairs. Has it gotten close enough? Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. It's gotta be stair slug. Don't say that. <laughs> yeah, you didn't realize it's, it's a, like, actually giant slug. Okay, let me read these other freaks. Toilet hob. Uh, homing inside oh, toilets. They bear false faces. Two separate clumps of wispy hair. Uh... Tend to clean their homes. So if your toilet's clean, you have a toilet hob. Basically, the hobs are pretty easy. Hi. Uh oh. So yeah, I was right. She did not. Oh my god! What did she have though? I have like no idea. Maybe maybe she had bats. I have no idea. Oh my god, okay. Hello. Hey, uh, I've been hearing some really weird noises coming from the bathroom faucet recently. I'm not sure what it could mean. It just makes this nasty sound anytime I run it. Along with this, uh, nasty smell. Bathroom faucet, weird noises. It's gotta be a pipe thing then, right? Pipe. Pipe growth? Ew. Oh, that is disgusting. Clog the pipe indefinitely. Bubbling digestion noises after they eat a full meal. Uh, <laughs> Uh, 
Uh, time to eat anything that comes in their domain. Uh, I don't know if it's pipe growth. Pipe hob? No. What's he saying? Nasty sound anytime he runs it and a nasty smell. Uh... It can't be a pipe hop because they do the opposite. They make it clean. Frozen pipe. Do frozen pipes make it smell bad? Yes. Strange faucet smell. Leakage. Uh, I think this is it. I think it's 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 just a regular old frozen pipes. I hope this is true. <laughs> it's a little hard because some of these things are a bit similar to each other. Hmm. Now what else can I read? Wait, well, unicorn fungi. What the heck is... What is this? A rare horn-shaped fungus. Grow on the hands of furry animals. Uh, affect animals' disposition, causing them to be drawn to the soil. Furiously digging around or inside the home. Now, whistling fungi? My wife... I can't... Her face... It's gone... It's gone... My wife... I can't see her face... I can't see her face! Um, what is mirror nymph? Well, mirror nymph says not being able to recognize their own face. Uh, memory wisp? Invisible. Yeah, inability to remember the faces of loved ones. I think it's much just a memory wisp. Uh, yeah, I, I, I can't. Th Wait, what is false artifact here again? <clears throat> I think won't it? Yeah, it, the false artifact will just take you. So it's gotta be memory wisp. Mm -mm -mm -mm. There we go. <clears throat> I hope that was true. Uh, what else we got? Let me go down. Whistling fungi. Oh my god, I'm never gonna get to read. <laughs> hey, yeah, uh, name's Fred Pinball. I'm calling to lodge a complaint against your place of business. I have never seen such a big old mess left behind by your pest control team. Just tons of twigs, sticks, and pebbles. Sod, and I ain't putting up with it no more. <laughs> I got sawdust coming out of my drawers here. I had to grab you by the goober and smack you around till next Sunday. Now, <laughs> what's it gonna do? What's it gonna do to make this right? <laughs> I think it's just- I think it's the same guy. I think it's just the same guy calling in to prank phone calls under different names. This is Buzz Goober and Twig Sigmund. <laughs> he grabbed you by the goober. Okay. Mushroom-like growths with many small holes in their caps are frequently grow through drywall gaps and cracks. Uh, often report dissonant whistling sound coming from the walls. I, uh, Hi? I have no idea what's happening. My sheets are growing nasty, sharp things on them, and I my see. legs are going dragons. crazy. Do I need to be showering more often or something? I usually shower, like, once a week for my skin health, so maybe that's it? Well, he's got bed teeth. But, uh... Where is it? Yeah, you got bed teeth. 
Oh, well, I already know. It's, it, it blocked this one out because this is the answer, by the way. But I know that it's bed teeth. <laughs> I, I don't even need to check. I'm so glad we got somebody with bed teeth, though. All right. Um... Oh, this one's dead, too. Oh, shoot. Oh, no, everything's out. So it's even while I'm not calling them. Can you imagine someone telling you with a straight face Hello. you hit bed teeth? I'm told to call this number to ask about my problem. Uh -huh. The wall in my bedroom doesn't look right near the bottom. The bottom of the wall has some cracks, or maybe it's peeling. I'm what was that one sure. called again? It's a hob. I have a cat named Whiskers, and sometimes he likes to sharpen his claws at the couch. But he would never do that to the wall. He knows just how naughty that would be. He would never do that to the wall. Please, how old? Um, but mentioning the pet is interesting. However, the pet isn't doing anything, so... What's that one hob called? Fracture hob. Yes. It, it makes it, uh, yeah. Wait, wasn't there something else that does peeling? Cracks and fractures. So she says, cracks or maybe it's peeling, I'm not sure. I thought there was one that caused peeling. But I can't remember what it was. Was it termites? It has to be this one though, right? Maybe that other guy had... Yeah, maybe the guy who I said had ants or whatever, maybe he had a fracture hob. But anyway, what else is there? Termites? Does that do peeling on the walls? In the drywall. Squeaky floorboards. Uh... That's a little tough, actually. She meant- oh, now that's hard. It's either termites or fracture hob. But it's the bottom of the wall. Hmm. I really want it to be a hob, but what if it's this? Peeling paint. I think it's 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 gonna be termites, right? If I'm wrong, then I'll cry. When I hear anything but the wall, I think it's a hob problem. There are a lot of things that affect walls, so. Is there anything else I haven't read? Oh yeah, these ones that were like inaccessible. Wine sprites, uh, consume wine. Large eyed winged creatures, translucent skin. It's just a mosquito, but for wine and also big. <laughs> Alright, what's this? Oh my gosh. Andy Samper? Kind of joke? Last week, I called you guys about some weird noises I had coming from my living room. It wasn't me. Oh, hob. It's been a week now that I've been dealing with this racket, no thanks to you, and now we're starting to have power outages. Your employee's stupid joke is now probably going to cost me who knows how much in repair costs. So talk you gotta to listen, dude. And tell them they owe me big time. You figure out what's going on in my house, and you figure it out. Also, why do they have like profile pictures? When, when they're calling so yeah he, it's it's a hob right so but let me like review everything that he said okay weird noise is coming from living room leave out bowl of cream obviously it's a hob power outages huh wait is is there maybe another hob that is there like something that chews wires or something 
I don't think I've gotten anything really electrical like that. Well, there's lamp spray, but that's probably not it. Yeah, no, 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 no. He's upset because I said hop? Yeah, but it... Mm, okay, let, let's ignore the milk thing then. So... Noises from his living room. Power outages. I don't think I have anything like that. Like, if we want to check this again... Well, they're not doing anything. Like, power outages? Is it a boggart? Like... Ah! Oh! It was a hob! It was a hob, but it metamorphosis and it turned into a boggart. Well, you got a boggart, I believe. Extremely dangerous to humans and pets due to their malicious nightly household activities, which can often cause injury or death. They also react very violently when seen by humans, but thankfully these instances are rare as they excel at staying hidden. Do not under any circumstances refer to an active boggart by any name. Once you become aware of its presence, simply vacate the premises, provided you do not speak of the boggart at any time, in any fashion, it will remain in its original location. Okay. Well. Just don't, don't say it, don't think it. Don't say it, don't think it. Th that's gotta be true. Is there anything I didn't read yet? Oh my god, oh. 100%! We're back on it. We're back on it. I'm very, I'm, I'm very well informed. And now the resolution <laughs> again. Uh, give me, give me just a moment. Now it's too big. Excuse me? Uh, yeah, okay. Anyway, um... What's this? Science mysteries? Hmm... The mystery of mice. Mice. One of humanity's oldest friends and it's cute. From the Black Plague to the shelves of our pet stores. I thought that the Black Plague was France. Humans for centuries. And just like humans, mice may even be evolving alongside us as well. This is a mus musculus, otherwise known as the common house mouse. And this is Mus Musculus Loquentis. Loquentis. As the smart mouse. Oh. A newly discovered species known for its uniquely colored iris. And more importantly, it's increased. It was technically fleas, oh, okay. Mice have brains smaller than peanuts. And yet, modern science has observed they are capable of thinking quite intelligently. And in the case of the smart mouse, perhaps even capable of communication. With the help of modern computer technology, today's scientists have been able to interpret the previously indecipherable squeaks of a smart mouse and uh -huh. discover what seems to be hidden messages within. Let's take a listen. Um, just hearing things that aren't there. 
Do mice and men have more in common than previously thought? Who made this video? Well, I suppose that's what You makes don't like mice? Science mystery. Oh. Uh, uh, the scary door. Okay. Uh Okay. <laughs> I don't know what to make of that. New office pet. We're excited to introduce to all of you our brand new office pet, Whiskers. Whiskers is loyal, friendly, and is as serious about pest control as we are. Please give Whiskers a warm welcome if you see him wander by your desk. Please refrain from picking up or feeding Whiskers as he is still getting to know everyone in the office and has scheduled feeding times. Okay. That's cute. Is that a real thing? Do people do office pets? Anyway. Uh, hi, Accuracy Ray. I got another cup coupon. $300. Uh, oh, wait, what? Uh, I, I get... Oh, I feel like this isn't a real... Coupon. This is just, they're just, like, giving me a medal and making me pay $300 for it. A lot of places in Japan have cats live in the office. That's interesting. Well, um, time to get back to work. Hmm. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I want am I gonna get to see, like, every single one of these? I hope so. Wood secretion? I didn't read wood secretion, excuse me? That sounds disgusting. Pink viscous liquid substance that can sometimes form from wood that has been mistreated. Excuse me? <laughs> Have you been kind to your desk? The? I'm impressed so far by your dedication to accuracy. I have once again updated your permission so you should have access to more extensive household hazard information. Thank you. Keep up the great work, employee. Our eyes rest upon me. <laughs> okay. Um. New entry travel gnome. I think this is not our first. Okay. Oh. I think the map is something wrong with our faucet. Recently, I've been having the worst kind of stomach bug, just aches and pains constantly. But after a month, still hasn't gone away, and I'm thinking there's got to be something wrong with the uh, Did you not go to a we doctor fresh, first? Grown fruits and vegetables here, and we ain't ever had any problems up till now. I keep hearing things mm. about rusty pipes and water poisoning and all kinds of terrible things that can happen to the water, so... Mm -mm. Send someone out to get this fixed, right? <laughs> You red dead for tanginess. <laughs> Okay, wait, what's he saying? What's he saying? Um, so he's he's got a tummy bug. Aches and pains. For a month. He thinks it's the water. They grow their own fruits and veg. Rusty pipes, water poisoning. Hmm. Okay. What's a travel gnome? Um... Still way inside luggage, inspecting travelers, introduce themselves to new households found most commonly in high forested areas. Look at Well, seedling. Well, that might be it, right? Small insectoid creatures about the size of an aphid. They are known for burrowing in outdoor planters or gardens, feeding off the roots. Their weed killing lifestyles can make them useful for gardeners. Extremely territorial and react violently to anything competing for their food source. Never remove a weed from a seedly infested garden. They are known to compel competitors to commit violent acts on themselves or others. Uh, well, it's probably not that. It doesn't say anything about tummy bug. Portal. Oh, yes, of course. Door shaped openings to an outdoor location other than the homeowners discovered. Uh, most commonly basis underground cell- well, it's not that, okay, um... Night Gnome? Uh... Listen, I'll, I'll check the gnomes later. Laundry gnome- we, we unlocked all the gnomes! The horn?! Uh, 
It's like growing my grandpa. Uh, okay, floor roots. There's so much stuff now. What? Fey flu? Ooh. Well, it's probably not that. No. It's, it's Hanahaki disease. <laughs> Dude, there's too much now. What? I don't even know what to look for. He's got- he just got a tummy ache and he thinks that it's his- his vegetables from his water. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm trying to think. Is it the pipe thing then? No. Pipe hob. That would just keep it clean though. It's not gonna make you sick. Ah, uh, this is... Um... False beat. Harmless unless eaten by a human, at which point they will take root in the human's stomach, feeding off its nutrients for its lifetime. Digestive and potential back problems. Uh. Swallowed false beat cannot be removed without killing its host. Is it him? I mean, is 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 that it? Fey feast. Amid two large sized piles of various edible food substances, frequently including flour, cornmeal, and various species of fungi, known to appear near eating areas of their home. Watch as you have to untouch they can provoke more dangerous activity. Or its continued presence can attract other household pests such as cockroaches or carpenter ants. Okay, that's these are sign of hospitable presence? It should be consumed immediately once sighted to prevent froking or offending the gifter. Well uh I don't know what else I can choose from What it, what was it that I decided on? False beats. I think it's a false beat. Yeah, it's gotta be false beat. Sorry, buddy. They're gonna have to kill you. Ideally, it wouldn't be one, but I also care about my accuracy rating. So, you know. So much. So much information to learn. Oh. The police told me to call this number. Nice so old lady I, uh... voice. I got the right number here. Anyway, uh, I think... I think somebody is stalking me. I can see their shadow at night at my window, just staring into the house. When I close the window, I can still hear him out there, breathing. I've been sleeping on the couch every night this past week, just so he won't see me. The police said they can't do anything, so please... Send somebody or do something about this. Um, I can hardly sleep anymore. So, <laughs> uh, so someone's watching her sleep. She can see shadow at her window. Uh, is is someone outside her house watching her sleep? Please hold. Outside or. Are they inside and she just can't tell? Because there's ha it says that Hobbs will watch you sleep. Is it, uh, or rather, um, what's it called? Boggart. Frequently observe their targets while they sleep. Is there anything else? Extremely dangerous. Standard, uh... Uh, um, 
let me see. Let me be, be careful about this. Can't think of anything else it would be though. She hears breathing. Oh, what's night gnome? Uh, tendency to enter the sleeping quarters of humans to watch them while they sleep. Homeowners affected by night gnomes frequently report sighting them in the middle of the night. Heavy breathing sounds. It's got to be this one then. Not known to be deadly to humans, but those who suffer from heart conditions should consider wearing sleeping masks to prevent being startled by their presence. They will move on to other homes if they become bored or restless by your inha uh, inhabitants' sleeping activities. There's no guarantee, however, that they will become bored by you if they find your sleep sufficiently entertaining. Doesn't sound like normal breathing. It sounds like he's the one who's sleeping. But yeah, it's gotta be Night Gnome. Gotta be an exciting sleeper to entertain them. <laughs> and what, what exactly constitutes an entertaining sleep pattern? If it was a bogger, that old lady wouldn't even be alive. Yeah, probably. <laughs> uh, it's a laundry gnome. Uh, oh! I believe there may be some kind of problem with our home ventilation. Lately, we've been hearing awful banging noises coming from the ceiling, and the air quality seems to have been drastically reduced. My daughter hasn't been able to stop coughing. Uh, banging from the ceiling. And so it's not blank mold, because, like, what's the ceiling banging about? Please hold. Uh. So many options. Attic gnome. Um, knocking or rapping sound coming from their ceilings, or surplus of dust coming out of their ventilations. It's attic gnome. It's attic gnome. It's attic gnome. Attic gnomes' feeding habits can often be a boon to homeowners as they consume dust, cobwebs, and household pests such as spiders in large quantities. However, when frightened, they will violently expel their meals, which can send large quantities of dust particulates into the air, causing air quality issues in the household. They are very easily frightened. To remove an attic gnome from the household, it is recommended to dust and clean your attics and ceilings regularly as to avoid giving it a source of food. This will also prevent other attic gnomes from nesting in your home. Okay. Easy. Easy. <laughs> Noisy molds. Why are you trying to sabotage me? <clears throat> Excuse me. Night Wisp. Wasn't there another one that I clicked on and didn't get to finish reading? Um... Bright floating lights. Known to hover outside windows at night while whispering promises of wealth and good fortune. Not dangerous unless listened to. Refla refrain from listening to their whispers and following the directions. They move on to other homes after a week or so if they are ignored consistently. It is advised to drown out the whispers music. Bees. My poor Jeremy is always so concerned about bees and, and wasps and stuff. <laughs> I miss him. <laughs> I miss him so much. Oh, please, please, please say you can help me find him. He's all that I have. Okay. Okay. Let's. Please hold. Let's calm down a little bit. She was tucking him into bed. <laughs> Banned that guy for a month. 
<laughs> the worst police they have, yeah. Uh, well, the police probably know that it's something supernatural, or they just don't care. <laughs> um, alright. So, his son was worried about bees and wasps, so was probably hearing a buzzing noise. And then he went missing. Uh, what is Cellar Grotto? No bad smells. No bad smells or frogs. Uh, do, 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 do. False artifacts? Gentle buzzing sounds. Only be heard by very young human children or small animals. Uh, missing children. Yeah, did I read this? Oh, what the heck? Okay, false artifacts, while not a direct threat to adult humans, can pose a significant risk to small children and animals. Should a child or pet be left alone with a false artifact, they are at risk of being encased within. Once encased, and no noise made by the prey can be heard. While digestion can take upwards of several years to complete, starvation can be a more pressing concern. Uh... False artifact has been identified. Removal is as simple as physically removing the object out of one's home. HSH pest removal services should be called to come and remove the object. Should a pet or loved one already be encased within, one can utilize a memory wisp to speed up the grieving process. <laughs> oh, that's that's grim. Yikes. Uh. Mm -mm. What, what, what a world if these people live in there's so much to be concerned about and not a whole lot you can do about it <laughs> depending on what it is I guess have I missed anything else there was, there was some like gnome uh uh Hello? Hi. I'm concerned somewhat about the stability of my new home. I recently finalized the purchase and naturally afterwards found that there are several large cracks in the walls of the basement that Typical. were not previously disclosed. Typical. As well as several pieces of half-eaten cheese littered across the basement <sighs> floor. I haven't been able to get in contact with the previous owners about this and I'm wondering if you can offer any kind of legal advice. Right away, sir. Right away. Uh, we, we got cheese in the basement and, and cracks in the walls. Uh, I'm actually not so sure. I don't know. Cheese? I have eaten cheese in the basement? Hold on a second. Uh, basement? Basement? Whose basement? Whose basement? Um. Mm -mm. night gnome no that one just watches you sleep <laughs> what about the forward i didn't really read this one i just freaked out by it well it's invisible for one and then it's and it's odorless uh collect and store large quantities of common household refuse tendency to store vast quantities of trash in the home make them prone to spreading disease to the home's inhabitants rotten food used syringes rusty metal uh once introduced to a home hoard will continue to gather and hoard the treasures indefinitely it is advised to sell one's home the first sign of the hoard's presence to make the relocation process go over more smoothly uh to prevent the hoard from gathering in one's home it is advised to keep one's home tight as possible uh well it's not that what the heck you even hmm hmm floor roots no no what the heck is leading cracks there was one that did cracks is it the no it's not gonna be the fracture hob is it mm -mm. uh I don't think that they know about Hobbs. Uh, 
Uh, I don't know. So this is basement. Ah. Oh. Maybe I should at least read over floor roots. They'll just grow upwards from the floor to wrap themselves around things. <gasps> They're known strangling hazard for human children pets while they sleep. Just don't be a children or a pet in this world and you'll be fine. Uh, cellar growth? No. No. This is hard. I I have no idea. Bruh, what? What do you mean half-eaten cheese? Do I even have this one? Portal? No. Uh, what is night? Wait, I already saw, I already saw that one. Laundry no. Uh, they can fold their bodies into various shapes and often resemble dirty towels. Loud rattling, banging sounds. Well, that's not it. Do any of these have anything to do with cheese? Like, maybe- I'm wondering if that's just something that is, like, unrelated. Uh... Hmm... Do-do-do-do-do... I was thinking cellar growth because maybe it just looks like caffeine and cheese. Oh dear. I'm still thinking fracture home. It doesn't say anything about them eating food from the home. <gasps> Jeez! <gasps> Fracture homes cannot be removed once they nest. To prevent further jam damage, measures to prevent metamorphosis should be taken as soon as possible. It is advised to leave out a slice of any kind of cheese each night before going to bed. Okay, so the person that he bought the house from, they had Fracture Hob. Okay. We got it. Nice, nice one. Good job, everybody. <laughs> You have a very intense detective work. You know, speaking of which, though, I have been wondering, should I start watching detective shows? Like Columbo, I guess. Because literally everyone I know is watching those things. I've never had a strong interest, but... Oh! Gub rubber! How do we IP then this guy? Uh Dude, your your voice change is kind of bugging out. You, you gotta give up. I think I think I've read like everything now. In, in my panic to figure out what the heck the cheese was about. Face looks like a character from an old point and click game called Harvester. I know Harvester. I watched someone play that long, long time ago, and I watched a little bit of German's stream of it as well. Huh? Huh? What? What was it? Why did the so, ringtone change? Me, I should call this number. I have no idea why. He won't tell me anything. He said you could help, so here goes nothing, I guess. Um, so I've recently been having just the worst headache, mm -mm. and just barely I woke up and felt my eyes were starting to look kind of pink. I'm really freaked out right now, oh. and I'm not sure what I have. I can't find anything online. Can you help me? 
I know what he has. I know. I'm sorry to tell you, dude, you got the Fae flu. I, yeah, this is, the, that's why they black it out, because this, he's got Fae flu. Gotta double check though, just to be sure. Just like, headaches. Pink eyes. I remember that. Pink eye isn't an option. I think he's got Fae flu. If there was something else, then I'm a fool, but... I'm very confident. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, what the was I saying? Oh yeah, detective shows. Because you know who else watches a detective show? Adachi Toru from Persona 4. And he, he like, idolized a character from a detective show that he liked. And that's why he wanted to be a police detective or something like that. So, you know... Maybe I can do the exact same thing. <laughs> or maybe Columbo will be entertaining, but I'm not so sure. I, I don't know. You gotta okay. tell me what's going on inside my home, okay? I'm okay. freaking out over here! There's holes all over my freaking house, man! Freaking holes! I'm stepping around big wooden splinters! There's no telling how much damage there is! I've got this big gaping one in my kitchen that I have no idea how freaking deep it goes! To top it all off, my skittish little greyhound goblin is nowhere to be found. Goblin? Probably took off after oh man, no! Man. Wait, one thing. <laughs> I don't know if I know this one. So there's holes all over his house, and his little doggy is gone. Please, how old? Uh. Wait, 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 wait. There's one. There's one that. Might be. Um. So. Um, okay. So. This is the day they, they if they have the unicorn fungus, they will like dig around or inside the home. Although, what is it? So he just has holes all over. But I don't know, could that kind of hole really be made by a dog? I don't think so. Even if it has unicornitis. What else makes holes? And also gets rid of pets. Not the horde. Floor roots? No. Nah. Hmm. Hmm, 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 hmm. It's getting tougher. It's getting tougher. Ah, uh, maybe it is uni unicorn fungi. Well, does this one even say anything about the pet disappearing? It doesn't. Yeah, it doesn't... It doesn't say that the pet will disappear. It just says that they will start digging everywhere. So, I think it's got to be something else. There was something that gets rid of pets, but I forgot what it was. Hmm. It can't be a portal. If it the mole would be weird. Try to remember. What if it is floor roots? Because he says he's stepping around splinters? Grow upwards from the floor. Uh, they require somebody to wrap around before they will cease their growth. Uh... But this doesn't say anything about holes. It says that it will kill pets in their sleep. But it doesn't say anything about holes, really. What is false rose? But this one is not going to give holes, I don't see. Uh... Dude, you got carbon monoxide. You're just crazy. Uh... 
I don't know. What if I'm overthinking it? What if it is unicorn fungi? But I want to be 100% sure. Big gaping hole in his kitchen. Is that portal again? Nah, nah. Uh uh. It might be... Well, does this do holes? How many of them are doing holes? Doesn't seem like it. Small raw furry. The only damage is gardens. Yeah, no, no gopher. It's not another hob, is it? Hey, spicy! I'm trying to figure out why this guy has holes in his house. I think it- I think it has to be unicorn fungi just because that's the only- But does it have to be? But it could be, but I think it- It just because it doesn't say anything about the pet disappearing. Mm-mm. This might be wrong. This might be wrong, but it's the only thing I can think of, really. Yeah, okay. There you go. I hope he can find his unicorn pet. I mean, it says that it will go away after a few months on its own. Wait. No, yeah, it is talking about the fungi itself. Because it says it can be treated. Or removed sur surgically. But that one might have been... Well, we'll find out at the end. Although, was that the whole day? Because I feel like I did a lot just now. Nope, there's another. Hi. Alright, I'm gonna need someone to explain what in the name of Christmas is happening to my living room. Language. And the house is already turning into a disaster not 24 hours later. <laughs> and my living room is absolutely covered in soil and plants. Looks like a gosh darn nursery in there. What is happening? Is, uh, is this what happens when you buy a bad rug or something? It, wait, so she's got dirt, soil, and plants in her living room. Or just the house in general? Uh, it, so it could be, well, Cellar Grotto, right? This is Cellar. Interesting number of dangerous pets into the home. Hmm. Cellar Grottos can be removed by finding the creator and presenting them with a gift of gold. Creator often resides somewhere within the grotto's subterranean lake. For safety, bring spelunking and snorkeling equipment on your excursion. Or consider utilizing HSH's grotto removal team. <laughs> the voice the please hold sounds. Uh, I don't know about this one. So, what dirt and soil in her... Nothing about living creatures. <sighs> what make a dirt? What make a dirt? She was away from her house and now it's dirty in the house. In the living room. Floor roots! Floor roots! Right? It could be. It could be floor roots. But let me check everything else too. No seedling? Seedling doesn't make your house dirty, right? They just, like, make you into a violent person. Yeah. 
Mm. Yeah, I think she's got floor roots. Hopefully that's correct. Yay! Yeah, so, so much to think about and I forget about it like instantly. Do you think we're gonna get any like normal ones? <laughs> Like, oh, bed bugs or frozen pipes. I think we already got frozen pipes, though. Mice again. The mice are evil, though. Well, they're not evil, but they're intelligent. Uh. Hello again. Yeah, what? I'm kind of having an emergency what? now thanks to the info you sent me not being effective in the slightest. What's up? Living room plant situation has only gotten worse. Now the floorboards and walls are starting to groan under the weight. There's something hiding in tall grass by the couch, and I don't think it's friendly. Oh God! Oh God! It's moving! Oh! It's moving. I don't. I. I don't think I have that one. I don't think I have that one. What? Like it's creating like a garden inside of her. Was it a cellar grotto? But that's just for the cellar. I don't know. Well, I guess that was wrong. <laughs> oh, well. But can't, can't get it right every time. Mm -mm -mm. It's a pretty long one, though. Oh. My basement. I don't know what it is. All I know is when I open my basement door, it smells like a damn sewer, and I can hear it making all kinds of horrible noises. It sounds like there might be a lot of water down there, too. I don't know what it might be doing down there, but I have a feeling it's causing a whole lot of damage. It's you. Please send somebody to help with this. I can't deal with something like this. Um. So. It smells like a sewer in his basement. Weird noises. Sounds like there's water. Does Please this follow. guy have a cellar grotto? Yeah. Well, nothing about beetles or stuff, but... I want to say cellar grotto, but I've, I've been wrong, so... Uh... Horrible noises. Well, what does it sound like? Okay, yeah. So it's, yeah, you gotta, you gotta present that guy with a gift of gold. Or he's not leaving. Hmm. I wonder what that other lady's thing was. That I have literally no idea. Oh! Oh, accuracy 88.8889%. So I think that lady was the only one that I got wrong? Or... Hmm. I'm mostly good. Try to take care with my decisions. Oh, and I need to... <laughs> the resolution again. Same with me, actually. I won't leave your house unless you give me a gift of gold. Oh! Ah! <laughs> Do not... Come to the full. The full hole is bleached. I ripe it. Hello? Um, so my computer. 
I got a blue screen and it was this, there was a sad face and it said we ran in, your computer ran into an issue so we got to restart um so I don't know what that was about but that's quite concerning isn't it why does something like that happen do you know I don't I wouldn't think that it, it should it be I don't know why it would be uh maybe it was i think i just need uh because that's not a very intensive game. well it shouldn't be i play like catherine and stuff with no problem my computer does not get very hot while playing persona 5 so i don't know maybe something's weird with that game uh though i was worried maybe i'm pushing it a little t too much with because whenever i use adobe premiere for um uh, video editing it gets hot and i want to use a different software that doesn't um do that to a device but yeah it, it got a bit bad so i don't know should i continue playing the game should i continue playing the game or should i play it safe Although I'm worried because I don't know what it would. I don't know when exactly. I'm yeah, I'm trying not to let it melt. I I don't know when exactly. I will be able to get it cleaned. Like maybe in a couple weeks. Uh, how long? Let me check. I played for about two hours. How long is home safety hotline? Just to see how much I have left. How long is it? I have maybe another hour left. Or, or just like one more day. Mm. But I am worried that it's not going to hold up. My, my computer, I mean, because it's still a bit warm from just now. So I, I think it would be a better idea to be careful. Uh Okay, hold on. I'm going to I'm going to check the game just to see where it Yeah, maybe better to stop for now. Oh, that's annoying. I'm going to open the game though just to check. Uh where where did it did, 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 Does the game even save? Mm. Oh yeah, it did. The game saved, so I can pick it up next time then? Okay, I'll pick it up next time. Maybe I'll play tomorrow or something. And, uh... Yeah, sorry. <laughs> sorry about that. At least I got to stream for a couple hours. But that is pretty worrying. I think that, uh, yeah, I think that streaming from laptop with a lot of games is maybe a difficult life. Yeah, I hope it'll be fine as well. Thank you for coming to the stream, though. I hope thought the game was interesting and hopefully I can play it again on the weekend or tomorrow we'll see i will keep you all updated and see you again bye bye